So, um, for those of you, I'm at university, so that's why you see a dorm. Um, for those of you guys that know from the live stream that I did Saturday, we're going to be doing vlogs. Figured I did a little poll on Instagram. We got to check it. But anyways, uh, everyone was wanting me to post the vlogs on the BDAT channel. But I figured uh, I'd address the rest thing. If anyone even cared for my opinion. But um, I'm going to include this clip in the vlog for Monday. I'm still working on editing the weekend vlog. But um, my I'm going to put this video up separate just for you guys to watch until I get the vlogs all done. But so Russ was going about and saying about how all producers sound the same. This is a whack. Um, the industry is like whack. I mean, all that, all that other shit. Just saying like talking down on uh, kind of like the producer and saying that the producers are to blame. I think it was like something he was going along the lines, like something blaming the producers for the sound of hip hop and like how everything sounds the same here he goes i'll read it out loud let me address this 2016 interview since y'all getting emotional i was referring to the mon monotony in production 95 percent of the beats in rap sound the same and 95 percent of rappers do the same shit over them as every other rapper if that doesn't apply to you then i wasn't talking about you i didn't diss the producer community just the whack ones you used to be able to tell whose beat it was everyone had a really unique sound all the shit be sounding the same now. And that's a fact. If the shoe fits, that's on you. Shout out the fire producers, though. A lot of dope ones. Okay. So, the thing is, the reality is, there's always been the people that copied people and follow the path of other producers or use their samples and other such. The reality is there's only going to be one Metro. There's only going to be one Metro. There's only going to be one Sunny Digital. There's only going to be one Sunny Digital. There's only going to be one Away Mafia. Well, that's a little bit different. But there's only going to be one London one London on the track and one London on the track. You know what I mean? Now, the thing is, when you have uh, people using similar VSTs, similar drum kits, and all that other stuff, it, obviously, people are going to have very similar sounds. However, it sounds like Russ is attacking the state of hip hop and production and honestly like i don't understand why he's getting so upset not like it really affects him it's just he's always just been known to voice a dumb annoying opinion that's why I, that's in my opinion i don't really i think dude's corny with some of the stuff he says it's just unnecessary it's just a lot of negativity but um i don't agree i just think that you see so much, and it's so easy to, like, think it's all the same, but it's really not the same. I mean, of course, if I'm typing in Metro Boomin type beat, I'm going to find some beats that sound like Metro Boomin. And if I type in a 21 Savage type beat, well, 21 Savage works with, like, Metro Boomin and works with all these other artists. Of course, it's going to sound like him. But the reality is there's, like, hundreds, thousands of artists and you could search them up and do like type beat. You can even look up foreign artists like Bowser, who's from Germany. Look up a Bowser type beat. You're going to find like a different sound. I don't get the point. It, it's similar to like the type beat argument, which is a stupid argument. Because the reality is everyone's doing it to gain SEO and search relevancy so they can hope to make sales. So they can hope to make a living from music. Russ, hopefully you can understand that because us producers are trying to make a living and it's important for us to follow the trend, the sounds, but to also help innovate the new sound. And there's always new people innovating new stuff, trying new stuff, and doing stuff out of the box. I don't understand why it's getting hate or why you're calling other producers trash. Like, I make Metro Boomin type beats. I make Anyway Mafia type beats. I make London on the Track type beats. I make Drake type beats. I make Playboy Cardi type beats. I make a whole bunch of type beats. I make even my own stuff. I don't need to follow that format. But if I want, if an artist has a style and it kind of fits a format, they might search it. I work with artists that I think they have their own sound, 
but it follows the formatting of a wife and Lucci type beat or like wife and Lucci or some Migos or whatever. So obviously I'll send them those type of beats. Does that make sense? I don't know. No one's going to search like young, young Buddha beats type beats. Like, you know what I mean? If you don't know who the person is, you got to have, you got to stand out somehow. So I'll, Russ, you corny, always wanting attention, and this is your way of free promo, and you got it. Yeah, you. And no, I'm not playing your music for streams. I'm not playing your music at all. Not my type of music. Adios.